Bow! What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Chad Arms, aka Chetty Bobby. Oh, I'm 40. And you were tuned into the Triple Flicks Mafia YouTube channel, baby. Hit that subscribe button, hit that bell for notifications, and click all. That way, every time we drop a video, you're going to be the first one to find out about it, players. This is your boy Chad Arms, Chetty Bobby 1130. Today, we're in another episode of 31 Days of Horror. And today, we're going to talk about the 1989 French horror film called Deadly Games. It's also called Dial St. Nick something or other. It's also called Game Over. Um, <laughs> there was a lot of different titles. Again, it was a French horror film, so there is subtitles in this movie. It was from 1989. It says here, obviously the country of origin was France. It was a French, French film. And a lot of people say this is where Home Alone got some of their ideas. Now, I have no clue if the people behind Home Alone watched this movie. But uh, we're going to talk about it, man. Now, I watched it on Shudder, okay? Now, I know that Vagina Syndrome, Vinegar Syndrome, fuck Vinegar Syndrome, but they put out, they're putting out a, um, a physical release of this, a 4K release of this, which is hilarious. That that's getting a 4K, but um, well, let's get right into it, man. Um, the story is basically about. Well, I'll just read you the things. It'll be easier than me trying to explain it. On Christmas Eve, a resourceful young boy has to defend himself and his grandfather from a killer dressed as Santa Claus. The movie starts out with this little kid, and he's got the most glorious mullet I've ever seen for for a child. He thinks he's John Rambo. It's hilarious. I think the kid in this movie is is great. He does a great job. It's got very cheesy, 80s, like, Rocky-type music in it, um, which I love. And it's, like I said, basically, he's as, as grown up as this kid thinks he is. He still fully believes in Santa, Santa Claus, and he's excited about, you know, Christmas and everything. And there's a guy that's dressed, that's dressed as Santa Claus that comes down, which... He thinks it's Santa Claus, and then something very awful happens to one of the uh, to the little boy's pet, and then that's when he realizes this isn't a good person, right? So the whole movie, he's being stalked by this killer. Now this family's got tons of money. His mom's like some big wig um, executive, and his grandfather lives there. His grandfather's almost blind. Um, so there's that, and uh, it's it's really good, man. I, I I really thoroughly enjoyed this movie. Um, as much as I'm not a fan of Vinegar Syndrome, I may have to purchase this one just to have it. I don't know yet. I, I'm just I'm anti them for several reasons. We're not gonna go into that. Um, I thought this movie was done really well. I, I, it was effective. It was fun. It was creepy at parts. The main guy that plays the the killer, man, he is uh he's he's creepy as hell. I'll give him that. Like I said, the little kid does a great job. It's got some cool scenes. And granted, it's dated. It's late. It's late eighties horror. It's a late eighties French horror movie. Um, I thought it was really fun though. I, I don't know what all they're planning to do with it for Vinegar. They'll do a transfer and some other stuff, I'm sure, but. I had a lot of fun with this man. If you haven't, if you're on the fence about buying it um, from Vinegar Syndrome, check it out on Shutter and see if you you know see if that can give you an opinion on whether or not you want to buy it or not. I'd give it a four out of five, man. Um, as far as just the fun factor with horror films, I thought it was effective. I thought it was good. Um, I enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun. You know, I I, I really really thought it was cool. I'll be honest with you. And I watched it in, you know, October. But uh, it's definitely a good Christmas horror film to add to your collection or to add to your watch list for Christmas horror. You know, um, I always like doing those. So add this one to your list, man. Game over. Um, Deadly Games. Dial Murder for Santa. Whatever the hell it's called. There's like seven different titles. But uh, Deadly Games is what what is what I'm saying it is. So, yeah. Y'all be sure to hit the comment section up, man. Let me know what y'all thought about it. Uh, let me know what y'all thought of this movie if you haven't seen it. Again, we try to make these videos quick. And um, hopefully y'all enjoyed it. 
And stay tuned. We're going to keep these pumping out for you every day. 31 Days of Horror. Chatty Bobby 1130. Triple Flicks Mafia, baby. Ooh. Take the call.